This is Johan Gamble. We're back playing Okamon. Last time we made it to the city, but it's filled with all this poisonous smoke. And if we try and do anything, it just like it's like a curse zone. So, yeah. But anyways, let's go ahead now. First thing we need to do is go talk to this shopkeeper, the tool dealer. I like his little mustache. His nose looks like a mushroom. So, um, yeah, if we shop here, uh, we can buy some stuff. Now, actually, one thing is, um, any fish you buy throughout the game, you want to sell it here if you can, because you get more money for it. Selling fish here gives you more money than if you sold it somewhere else. So, oops, I still have more crystals to sell. So that's pretty neat. Um, alright. I also went back to the mirror, because I just prefer the mirror right now. Anyways, uh... Here's a guy we have to race later on, but we can't do anything until we help out with this place. Hmm, looks pretty bad. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Why is my camera so zoomed out? Oh, there we go. I had to zoom that in. Right, there we go. Whoa, look at this guy. He's got so many weapons. I also collected just a couple more demon fangs off screen. Not a ton more, but just a little. Um... I'm hoping we should be getting a hundred fairly soon. Alright, so he has a, a sword, but I don't want that. I will buy the gold dust, though. But the sword, though, I don't want. How many things do I have? Fifty. Okay, I'm gonna have to probably do a little grinding off screen for some. Alright, so anyways, we can't do anything. Um, he Oh, actually, there is one thing we can do. I almost forgot. There is actually a stray bead down in the one of... I believe it's over here, in the canal. So what we want to do, um, we need that we want to go off to the right over there, but uh, first we're going to go this way because the stray beach should be over there. There's a bunch of treasure down here too if you want to get it. All right. I'm pretty sure it's over here. It might be on the other side. It's not that hard to find. It's just in the canal, so it's pretty easy. Nope, here we go. That should be stray bead 46. All right. And now uh, there's two more beads we can get in the city. Um, let me read them real quick. Okay. I, well, actually, there's three more we could maybe get. I don't know. One of them is in the water, so I don't know if I want to get that one yet. We can wait for that one. So what we need to do is head over here. Because there should be a guy right here. Some guy with a house on his head. That is a big mallet, sir. You're also not wearing pants. Um, okay. Does that... Do you get cold not wearing pants? Yeah, the whole place is completely disaster. Oh, digging holes, huh? I think I could be of assistance. Wow, jeez, you were busy. Hmm, well, let's keep talking to him. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really good at listening. Oh, that water dragon's been causing a lot of trouble out here. Gushy now. Yes, we will help. <laughs> yes, I can only answer with my eyes. Or I could nod up and down. So yeah, um, just like before with... Um, oh, what was his name? That other guy we helped dig before we got to the, brig, uh, to the big bridge. Um, you gotta get him to the bottom of the... Um, and Mr. Bamboo. You gotta get them to the bottom of the water so that you can... Um, find so you can help to find it. I'm trying to remember which way we want to go. I think we want to go this way. I believe this is the way we want to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and start heading this way. I really can't recall which way we need to go. Oh, no, no, no. Don't hit that. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. I actually started pressing the, um, uh, the, the dash button instead of the cun button. Alright, and... Oh gosh, I'm almost out of ink, though. 
Now I'm out of ink. Crap. And I'm, he's gonna hit the... Yep, I'm gonna lose quite a few seconds. Come on, ink. His feet are really twitching. Like that. Alright, now we gotta go up. I gotta dig this real fast. Oh, I'm at an angle. Ooh, that was lucky. And then do that. Okay, so I guess we didn't have to go this way. I don't know which way we needed to go. Oh crap, don't fall over. No, no, no. D dude, really? Wow. That was annoying. Now I gotta turn him around. <laughs> and now I gotta push him back up. Right, come on. Cut this. Alright, I think we're getting there. Right, nothing but I like can just hit this stuff good. I want that extra money. Um we're just gonna dig right here. I don't know which way we need to go. I think we're doing okay though. Um Okay, we're gonna cut this. We're gonna keep digging this way. Alright, better get him. Blow him. There we go. Just keep, I guess, just keep digging. <laughs> Dig again. Okay, we're almost at the bottom. Excellent. Oh, good. We'll be right at the bottom. Cut these two blocks. Nice, we made it. That wasn't too hard at all. <laughs> that was fairly easy. I don't know why I chose to try and break the harder block, but whatever. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna circle him. We only got 50 seconds. Oh, nice! So as you can see, that one is uh, pretty easy. That one's not too hard at all. Got on the first try. So that's good. Also, that demon fang trick that someone told me about, that only, from what I've been, from what I understand now, and what other people told me, that only works in the PlayStation 2 version. So I don't get demon fang from pressing X, unfortunately. I wonder why they took that out. Maybe they felt it was way too easy to get di diamond demon fangs. Good job, me. All right, so we fixed the bridge. Uh, not the bridge, I'm sorry. We fixed the the water situation at least. So now there's at least some. They have some water. That's good. Um, and after that, let's go ahead. There's nothing else we can do in this part of town, so let's just leave. The queen. Hmm. <laughs> I never trust queens. Okay, well, if you say so, an issue. I and mean, you have a pretty good judge of character so far, right? That bridge looks kind of messed up. Oh, there's uh, another one of those weird uh, sh silhouettes of people. When you're too far away from them, you see the weird, creepy silhouettes. Actually, there is um, there is a uh, stray bead over there, all the way over there in corner. But yep, we can't get over there because the the water is cursed. So we'll have to wait. Okay. So that's why we can't get it. Anyways, we need to talk to this guy. I believe. I don't know if he's a monk. Or is he? No. He's got a lot of swords, though, like the like the uh, salesman. Wander. Okay, he is a what? Monk. He has some huge eyebrows, dude. Nine hundred and ninety-nine swords. One thousand swords. Living sword. Hmm. Nope, I haven't. Well, if it's a, probably a fish. I mean, if it lives in the water and they call it the living sword, it's probably a swordfish or something. I remember. Uh, I don't know why that reminded me of a uh, uh, Donkey Kong 64 uh, when um, Lanky Kong turned into the uh, the, uh, the sword. The Ungard, I believe that was his name. Ungard, I don't really remember. I never beat that game as a kid, or or maybe I did. I just don't recall. Hmm. Yeah, well, I haven't. I mean, I'm a wolf, and I can afford the bite blinding snow rod. Why can't you? Yeah, you can have it. I've never fished before. 
I don't know, I think fishing and swords, swordsmanship are a little different. I mean, fishing, I think, requires a lot of waiting time. And, I mean, I, I don't know, maybe it, it, there probably is some waiting time when it comes to a sword. You know, patience, waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and fish. This place has a lot of fish you can catch once we, uh, a little later on. It's a good place to make a decent amount of money because, uh, you know, fishing and then sell it to the, uh, to the market guy over here, and then uh, you'll get a lot, you'll get, so you'll get more money than if you sold anywhere else. I like to save my fish, uh, for, um, only here, though. Only to sell in sea on sea, uh, so. Come on. Oh, it's a gobe! Whoa! I like the gobe's face. It's like, oh, why'd you catch me? Yeah. All right. Let's grab this one. And this makes me think of Ocarina of Time's fishing, which was way harder than this. All right. Uh, what is that? Smelt or a flying fish? I think that's a smelt. Yep. I like the clouds in the background. Those. Are Ooh, and here it is. We find the um. When it's for the story mode, you f I mean, for the story-related stuff, you find the fish relatively quickly. They come out pretty early. You don't really have to do a lot of fishing for, like, when you're trying to get bigger fish in the... Uh, when you're just regular fishing and you're trying to catch all the fish, you have to catch, like, a lot of smaller fish before it gets to the big ones. Alright, and this one, I think, takes... Right, it's either two or three, I don't remember. It's definitely more than one, though, I can tell you that. Come on. Come on, fishy, fishy. Come on, fishy, fishy. And... Cut you! Alright, it takes three. Oh. Look at that happy fish. Oh, no! Not happy anymore. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, and... There we go! Blah! Cut last fish, the living sword, aka the living sword. Mm -hmm. The gods be praised. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you have a thousand swords. It doesn't look like you have a thousand swords. <laughs> I like the dot dot dot. Well, I mean, it was called the living sword. I'm not sure why you're surprised. <laughs> Spare me the solace! Wow! Dude, your ass made the bridge move! That was amazing! Thanks, man! Hmm, okay. Well, you have fun fishing. So he's just gonna do that now. Um, He'll just stay there for the rest of the game, but uh, we'll be... Whoa! We can find him later on once we clear this stuff. Fishing over near the house. That place is huge. That place is a lot. Oh, oh god, it's the half baked proc fit. Hey, Waka Waka. Man, I've been playing actually Smash Bros. on the 3DS. Oh my god, that game is so much fun. So far, I am maining Yoshi. Like, I never really used Yoshi before, but now I'm just like using Yoshi like crazy. Like, before in uh, Brawl, my mains were Lucario. Link, um, uh, I don't remember who else were my mains were, but definitely Lucario and Link. Um, and now I can't, I don't know, I can't use Link very well anymore. I still use Lucario pretty well, but, um, definitely, um, Yoshi. I also really like, uh, Pac-Man. Trying to learn Shulk, but he's kind of confusing. I mean, his... Final Smash is like a dream. It has Ricky and Dunbad. My fan fiction is finally coming true. Nintendo has taken notice. Oh yeah, back to the game I'm playing. I should be paying attention to. I like his hat for some reason. I wore it. <laughs> you think? I don't think. Uh, I don't think this is a uh, Waka's doing issue. You really hate Waka. Like, almost like to the point where it's like blinding you. It's kind of annoying as you. Me thinks. Go to the hole in the wall, little ones. Oh, oh, 
Oh gosh, I don't, I don't, I don't like where that's going. Um, I, if I find a hole in the wall, I just, I just leave it alone. Okay, I might put some plywood over it, but uh, other than that, that that hole is, is I just leave it alone. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna head in here. All right, ooh, we got some treasure. Oh, that I totally missed hitting. Ooh, a medium-sized exorcism slip. And. Land of the Goods. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Oh yeah, we also haven't looked at some of the bestiary. We should also look at that too. Mother Tree. We also missed that. Alright, so we already know about these. You know, the the camera trees from her. Yeah, we already know these. Alright, Land of the Gods. Oh, 13 pages. Holy crap. Oh god. Uh, however, Chanel, blah, blah, blah. One day I was visited by a man who wove me a strange tale. Alright, the celestial plane has been. And. Da, 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 da. His eyes showed no reason to doubt. Hmm. Oh my god, gods and spirits homeless? Jeepers. What about the uh, bestiary? We haven't read some of the new bestiary. Yeah, the headless guardians. He may knock at your very door. Give me back my head, or I'll take yours instead. Not gonna be that useful, dude. <laughs> the monk who did not like the bell. Jeez, all of them don't have heads. Oh, and here's the um boom. I know I'm saying you boom. Yeah. Yeah, they don't like the wind either. You can use like the wind the building. Giant giant eye in the center. Hmm, that eye is creeping. Alright, Orchi, oh yeah. We fire Orchi. Oh the lightning bolts and all the blued. One hundred and eight times. Let me sold like a hundred and eight people I don't I don't get that. I'll have to read back to that again. Hmm. All right, two left. Eye slips. Oh my! She's freezing those open mouths. <laughs> and thunder ear. Good medicine often leaves a bitter taste. In other words, advice may seem harsh to he to the ears, but it is for our own good. That's true, for the most part. Not all advice you should take. Now let's talk to this uh, lady with a little beauty mark. <laughs> Oh gosh, I can already tell what Ishin's gonna do. He's gonna go DSP on this. Oh god, I don't wanna... This is, this is gonna be weird. Priestess Rao. You have no pupils, Miss Rao. Holy cow! <laughs> I love Ishin. This sister is stacked! Ishin, you don't say that to people. It's, it's very rude. It's very rude. Your melons. Oh my gosh. You're so blunt, Ishin. Dropping like flies. How can you not sense it? It's everywhere. Someone sprayed it all over the place. Yep. Hiroshima Coast. Hmm, well, it's uh, getting destroyed. What do you think? <laughs> it's probably just talking about your boobs. Yeah, I mean, we did take care of it. No, he's just a figurehead. We're the real uh, brawn. Alright, uh, here, have some wind. I usually just cut something, but this time I decided to use wind. You're giving her a lot of information, Ishin. Well, to except talk. <laughs> I 
stacked to the ceiling. <laughs> Jeez, that must be painful being stacked to the ceiling. Alright, so she's looking for some type of papers, I guess. Doesn't matter, just forget about it. My prayer slips. Okay, well, can't do anything. Um, but you'll... Uh, let me see. They're actually really quick. There's one more stray bead we can grab. Some more stray bead that we can grab. Now, if you remember, this guy is all the way back here. Um, but you have to make sure you beat his challenges um, in the village and in the um, chemic village and uh, that other village. So, uh, yep. So, uh, what we have to do now is beat the enemies really fast and we will get a stray bead. Okay, can't hurt that thing with the... I'm probably not going to get it. I'm taking way too long. Yeah, I'm going way too slow. Okay, he's dead. Oh, come on. Alright. I might be able to get it. I mean, I don't think I did it. I think I took way too long. We'll see. Whoop, whoop. Back and forth, back and forth. Did I do it? Humans, okay. 21 seconds. Oh, wow, I, I did it my first try, nice. All right, we obtained a stray bead number 52. Really quick, there's one more stray bead we can get, and it's right next to us, so we're gonna grab her. First, we're gonna make it nighttime, make it easier to find. I don't know if it's nighttime or not. Okay, it is. Right, and here is the stray bead. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. And there we go, that is all the stray beads that we can get right now. Um, but you know, though, I think this, uh, and that should be stray bead, uh, 51. So let's check our beads real quick. Yep, so we're doing pretty well. We're, we're getting there. So we just got stray bead, and 46. Okay, yeah. So you know what, though, um, I'm gonna end the video here, and we will continue playing more Okami in the next part. So this has been Yoham Gamble. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time as we continue to play more Okami. Okay, bye then.